so hi everyone uh, good afternoon good evening uh, good morning wherever you are in the world so uh, today uh, we are conducting this uh, webinar to guide affirm candidates to have the proper strategy and uh, like time management and in terms of what material to be referred so with that uh, we have uh, vinit bajaj who has recently uh, cleared his frm frm part 2 with the uh, excellent quartiles you can see he has scored uh, two in market risk and uh, rest one everywhere i i know uh, in market risk too it it would be like like some element of uh, luck which might have impacted otherwise uh, he could have done uh, well there as well so uh, yeah we need uh, over to you without uh, taking much of your time just introduce yourself and uh, please guide uh, the audience with uh, like your secrets behind success like how did you manage if you are working and uh, like if for like you can just advise if how working people should take it further and uh, how for uh, like the who are full time as students they can take it further so over to you please thank you for giving me this opportunity myself vinith work as the <coughs> equity research analyst my daily work there was include to do fundamental analysis of the companies on the education background i last year completed my graduation along with this i have cleared both the levels of frm and also i have doing uh, completed the courses on financial modeling and uh, option trading <coughs> okay so i think most of here the candid candidates of frm level 2 so we will first i will guide you <clears throat> introduction to the frm part 2 curriculum so the frm part 2 curriculum most is on theoretical side and uh, some topics are practical and this uh, keeps the so i will introduce the book wise nature which books is focused on what so first the operational risk and the current issue these books are purely theoretical no practical concepts are there and the, the operational risk uh, books difficult to grasp require constant revision of this to of operational risk mainly you have to revise constantly i will give in i will give the trick to how to do the revision constantly in the end and uh, let's comes to the market investment and credit risk books this books have some some practical practical in nature this book also have practical concepts and along with theoretical with this uh, the the practical concepts are here are easy to understand we can understand with uh, because these concepts are not like operational risk books if we have understand this concept uh, thoroughly once that that it does not require revision constantly which is not in operational risk book this because this are applicable to real world scenario many of you are working in market or credit risk department this will be easy for you and the liquidity risk book this is the easiest book and uh, this also more on theoretical front little bit of practical is there also there so vinit so, so now i will prepare yeah. vinit before we yes. go ahead just can can we say sorry to interrupt first of all uh, can we say that uh, like operational current issues and liquidity are a uh, bit of a uh, bit of theory oriented and uh, still you were you started at beginning and uh, you kept the consistent revision on these subjects is is that correct to say or like one should read yes, theoretical yes, yes. liquidity okay. is book on can you please repeat yeah so uh, like see sometimes theory uh, our memory may forget things which are theoretical so uh, like did you did you still start at beginning uh, like operational current issues and liquidity ones and still kept the no, constant no no i uh, uh, no no i have prepared the order of study for this uh, specially for this uh, session so i will share with uh, all you so sure. i know now I, i will focusing on order of study sure, so sure. first we will start with investment risk book the reason for starting with investment risk book because uh, here the topic are related to the part one which we have studied in the part one like capm factor theory 
sharp ratio this all we have studied in part 1 so also the repetition of this also there so is there is some linkage so this is easier to understand and serve as a good starting point and there we proceed with the market risk book this 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 also start this also topics of part 1 like var and fixed income fixed income like duration convexity which we also the the reason for taking market risk book after investment because the var topic are also repeated in investment risk book so we have to go simultaneously with this book now now the because as we know the operational is fully theory so to so i will balance uh, start with uh, my recommendation is take the seven eight chapters of operational risk book seven eight starting the seven eight chapter which focused only on risk like risk mitigation risk monitoring start take along this seven eight chapter with investment and market risk book balance theoretical and practical learning early so it will benefit later part because if we keep so so if we keep i am audible yeah yeah we need we can hear you sorry sorry for disturbance so the reason for taking operational risk book here is that because if we keep operational risk book for last it is hard to daily read the theoretical concept sorry 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 for that no, so no, absolutely fine so, we understand technical so, glitches are part of our daily life so that's perfectly fine so my recommendation for you, you here you all is please take the seven eight chapters of operational risk book with the investment and market risk book so so now let move we will take the credit risk book credit risk book is also heavy it contain around 23 chapters it contain <clears throat> 23 uh, 23 chapters and all these chapter are quite huge quite huge so which also take around month to complete this book for me because i have no background in credit risk so i get bored so i i, I also have included <coughs> operational risk chapter year only because i will take here the operational risk chapters like money laundering cyber resi cyber resilience terrorism financing this all chapter of operational risk are quite interesting which we can relate in our day to day life so my recommendation is here to also take along with credit risk book you you have to take the operational risk chapter because they are quite interesting and the reading of credit risk can be bored somewhere so please take this chapter now we will uh, completed three book and almost uh, uh, 60% of our operational risk book now now we'll take the uh, liquidity risk book it, it liquidity does not have any linkage with the part one but uh, but it is easier to manage it is a easiest book so along with this liquidity risk book so we will have to take a remaining and most important chapter of operational risk which are the basel and the rest around 7 8 chapters of operational risk book and uh, for current issue my suggestion is uh, take two to three times revise uh, rev uh, revise the current issue from the swazer uh, before the exam which is enough for the current issue and in current issue climate risk chapters are most important so in this way in this way which all the all our FRM, frm candidate find operational risk difficult here we have can easily manage this book uh, so when any uh, here yeah so i would ask one and then audience can ask any doubts if they have so far so we need when you say like climate risk is important uh, is it that from uh, like the the lot of questions were asked in the exam from hello yeah vinit can you hear me yes yes i can hear you yeah so when when you say climate risk is important so are you saying that like uh, the question, number of questions that were asked in exam on climate risk were high Uh, yes yes in the operational risk we have around uh, 10 chapters and uh, according to graph uh, 10% weightage is given to operational risk so around uh, around eight question will come in the operational risk out of which three to four question are found on climate risk so comparative okay. they are important 
understood and the question and and the question are quite easy if you read from a swaza two to three times you can easily tick those okay so just audience just make a note of it uh climate risk could be perhaps a low hanging fruit so if you read swaza thoroughly then uh, i think the 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 like questions are relatively easier then you can just target those first anyone wow. has any doubt so far what vinith has covered please feel free to ask or raise hand i mean i think you can unmute so feel free to ask if anyone has any doubt so far lerato fred alam papi well sister yeah anyone anyone has any question so far i think there is ocean chat box let me ask so we need we have question is it possible to get list of the order of chapter especially operational this chapter uh just give me a moment i think there is logo for uh we read the what investment and market is so basically uh lera to wants to know that what should be the order of chapters uh mainly for operational risk uh and current issues and market risk do you have order of chapter in which order we have to study the operational risk is yeah. this the question yeah, yeah uh, that's so correct. yes 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 yeah, lera to feel free to add i think i could not read some part uh, of your question okay okay thank you vinith um so you were saying that um we operational risk is very theoretical and you said you get bored easily so i think i'm like you um i wouldn't like to leave the theory chapters towards the end so um i'm sort of mixing my readings uh, invest between investment and market but now if you're saying that we can also start reading operational risk um can you maybe suggest um the first seven chapters that you mentioned um from operational risk that we can um study like in what order or do we just go from the first reading in operational risk so uh when it just yeah just to just just to like summarize what lera to wants to know so she 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 doesn't wants to keep uh, theoretical chapters till the end of the like quite near to exam so she wants to kick off operational risk reading what is the order she should follow uh like uh, in order to like have the effectiveness like less time investment and uh, more exam orientation like that's how i would i have given the order i have given the order that uh... For when you are studying the market and investment risk book, take the first seven chapters of operational risk books, which focused on risk, like risk reporting, risk mitigation. I think seven chapters are there. Then, uh, then the then the next eight chapters, which focus on money laundering, cyber uh, cyber religions, and uh, some case studies are there. This this chapters you can take with the credit risk book because credit risk uh, is a uh, also big and uh, some. some parts are boring so and these chapters are also interesting so this is the mix of boring and interesting parts and the rest oh. chapter which are important a basal chapter you can take this with the liquidity risk book because liquidity is easy and basal are most important so we can take this chapter with those okay thank you thank you uh, i understand now and within think- there is one more question in chat box so bapi <coughs> wants to know that is it that uh, in operational risk there were no numericals at all like from your experience uh, in exam like yes. rerock and other stuff like yes uh, yes one question from rerock of a numerical came and uh, and one question from bezel which i think similar to gap mock also came okay okay yes yes i remember those two question so bapi i mean though largely operational risk is theoretical but uh, expect some questions from uh, these only two to three questions yeah so but uh, it won't be correct to say that it would be completely theory like there could be few numericals like as you mentioned ray rock and basel and liquidity risk and the ray rock question was uh, quite simple uh, okay. it is uh, only formula based if you know the ray rock formula you can do you can do this so i derog is most important huh? okay. one question so yes. all of you please make a note that derog is something which you can just focus more there is just formula which like perhaps uh like it would i i would i would wish that you will get plug and play but yeah just be just solve two three more uh, important questions wherein 
like small traps or tweaks would be there when you are addressing that question. So try solving a little more difficult also so that in exam you have a like you feel that the something that was asked is easy. So yeah, we need please continue. Uh, so I will list down the study material and question which I have done. So I already I all I done all my reading from Swazers and uh, solve the BT questions. I have solved the BT question, not an AP question or Swazer question. So make and uh, and I uh, and I, I have make a underline of important things in the Swazer only because in FRM part two curriculum is quite huge. So we have to make underline the things because at the time of a revision you can't read the Swazer. So please understand uh, underline the important line during when you are reading first time. So we need just one question, like when you say you saw BT, so around how many hours it took, like if I were to segregate like uh, reading material and solving question banks, uh, when did, like how many hours you allocated to reading and uh, how many hours you allocated to be uh, like question solving, if I'm, if you can just give the rough breakup so that it will uh, just give our audience <clears throat> better clarity on that. Oh, my plan was to, I will share my, uh, can my, can I answer in the later part? Because I have sure. list down what my was strategy. It's sure no break, problem. Yeah. We'll do. Yes, we'll do. yes. Yeah, please continue. So if, we, if, if first, first strategy was to make a, uh, make your own notes. If you, if you are a student and you have a time, make your own notes because this will help in a revision. Uh, if, if you do not have a time, then I have some important trick for you because in FRM part two, retention is a big issue. So when you are studying, make a audio note. So like uh, summarize the uh, summarize this summarize this in ten minutes what you have studied in the chapters, and um, and uh, say yourself that this is an important part. Like uh, like eight percent we have to maintain capital S per bezel is the example. You have to summarize the chapter in ten to fifteen minutes and the. Uh, and include the important things of a chapter. This will help because in FRM part two, as I said, re retention is an important issue. So you can listen to audio notes when you are traveling to office. So please, it is important if you do not have time to make a uh, your study notes because study notes help in a revision. It, it is a difficult to revise further. Uh, difficult to revise further at the time of exam. Any question? Anyone has any questions so far what Vinita has covered? So I would say the key point for working professional is creating audio notes. And I would completely agree with Vinita because uh, like if we just read and underline or make notes that may like because it's con concepts intense. So what we can think is like if we have audio notes, like, like I, all of you here may agree that video gives us the more clarity in concepts uh, uh reading of course it gives but uh, during revision if you have got audio notes you can go to particular uh like you can just go to certain time and uh, see whatever information you are looking for quickly and stop and just resume your question solving that's what you were referring to Vinit, right yes yes okay any other questions from anyone like i can see a lot of audience here so feel free to unmute and ask any doubts you may have, uh, particular to your case also, feel free to ask. Yeah. Hi, sir. Actually, uh, like I joined late in the uh, like uh, meeting. So like my question is like I'm working individual. So how much time I should be preparing? Like how much time, months it takes to prepare for the part two? Uh, as I am full-time student, I have taken four months. So if you are working, I think six months is enough. Okay. Uh, on average, how many hours I do I need? Uh, on an average, uh, so I will I study around uh, six hours for uh, four four months. So you can calculate how much uh, hours you are needed because you are a working professional. You have uh, if you are in credit risk that you have good hand hand on credit risk for that you can calculate this. Actually, oh, my profile yeah. is mainly into portfolio management. I'm not sure 
if any of the portfolio management part yes, is yes uh, investment investment this risk will, would be easy for you and some sort uh, market risk would be easy for you and, uh, and credit risk and operational risk will be difficult for you i think so because okay. i also work as a equity research analyst so similar to that profile i think so okay sure thank you yes and thank next you. we have from lerato lerato feel free to ask i see your hand red hand Feel free to ask. Thank you. Um, so at one point, we can't hear you. Can you? Can you? Uh, okay. Yeah. Can you yeah, hear me can, better? Yeah. Now we can okay. hear you. Okay. So you said you were you were doing the BT questions as you were doing your readings. Um. At what point do you first like finish? Do you? Like you do a reading, maybe you do the first seven chapters of any book and then do you go straight to the BT questions or do you uh, wait to finish a book, all the readings per book, and then you only do the the book-wise questions? That's my first question. And then my last question is, after you have done all your BT questions, at what point did you do, do the, the mock exams? Yeah, okay like for you all for you all giving in the number i am make a small study plan if you if the study plan doesn't answer you then you can please ask the question so later to what what the plan is like uh, like after after completing he will uh, just present his screen and uh, share his reading plan no What's i am sharing my study plan so i have made a study plan for you that uh, okay. Fantastic. That the study plan should should be the so this study plan is like uh, the people who are giving in November. I assume that you have completed around ten percent of your syllabus. Around ten to fifteen chapters have been completed. I think so. So so yes. I ninety. Any question? Uh, anything yeah, I mean, you so, have to add? So, so she agreed that say they have as per you. She, I mean, by this time, uh, the FRM candidate should have completed ten fifteen chapters. So Lerato was saying yes, say they have completed. So, will it be a correct time to jump on to BT or still they should continue reading? And... Yes, 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 yes. I am. Uh, please listen to my study plan first. Then we can answer the question. Sure. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah. Yes, yes. So we left with uh, around FRM part two as one, one hundred three chapters. For so we left with ninety chapters as of now. So we will leave November for revision and mock exam. Okay. So uh, around August, September, October, three months are left. So we aim thirty chapters per month, five chapters Monday to Friday, and two chapters as working professional. I assume that have a weekend on Saturday and Sunday. Two chapters on Saturday. and most important revision people only focus on completing syllabus which is not try strategy you should do question and revision both simultaneously so we will cap sunday for revision of those seven chapters we completed in a week and we do the question of those seven chapters in a sunday it is man manageable because in bt around 10 10 questions per chapter was there So seventy question on one day, I think so. Not a problem in revising uh, and re and revising those seven chapters from uh, your underlined parts or your audio notes. Audio notes, okay. <clears throat> This was a strategy, and uh, in operational risk and current issue, you do not need to uh, solve the question because it is a uh, theoretical. So I my suggestion would be. revise as much as you can you have to only do the basal question for the operational risk and rare of parts you are only or only for those two topics you have to solve the question for exam for exam so for for in november what what we will do in november so uh, what will be your strategy in november in november you have to read the formula which, which you have prepared which you have prepared i think i left the point of form formula that uh, you have to make your formula book we have to make it because in frm part 2 around 20 uh, formula based question work came so you have to make your formula big separate book for of all the chapters of uh, of six books one one all the chapters on one page okay all the formula have to of 
aside your formula b because you end in november around 15 november exam has started from 1st november to 15 november you have to daily read the formula question because we can't uh, because we can't skip uh, because we can't uh, skip any formula based question because mostly formula question around 15 question were plug and play if you know the formula then you can answer and uh, and in november we will and uh, you have to solve the garp mock which are most important for the exam people ask which question bank is similar to the uh, exam exam question i think so garp mock garp mock are most similar to the exam question nor the bt nor the ap uh, are similar to the exam mock and in uh, in the exam you have to give in the exam environment like four hours st strictly st strictly practice gap mock under exam condition while uh, and while you are solving the question uh, please read please read the reason why other three option are not not correct to solve to solidify your concept continuously update your formula sheet as you are preparing for the exam so i have made the list of uh, important topics which uh, i think in operational risk book basel chapter rero and the, all the three lines of defense and the third party risk management this they are this are important in liquidity risk liquidity risk lbr liquidity var uh, as uh, alm i think it is elco elco asset liability committee committee cross currency swap is an important in credit risk cva mutton model these two are most important market risk expected shortfall extreme value theory mean revision main reversion black soles model and implied volatility volatility smile chapters are important and in uh, current in uh, investment risk capm pharma french model and uh, various var method like undiversified var diversified var and three methods of var i am i am forgetting these are also important var related anything written var which is important for the exam and in current issue as i said climate risk chapters are important and other than this you have you can find the important important concepts from the uh, in telegram group you have joined in, in, in telegram group people write what uh, what the question came in the exam so if this time around uh, 17 say 24 may exam was there so you can check the telegram messages on 17 to 24 may you can find the important topics from there and also bt forum provided the provided the, in in bt forum candidate also share the question which we came, came on the exam so that's all from my side so mm -hmm. please ask question anybody have so yeah please uh, audience all uh... please open to questions uh, and uh, regarding and one question regarding the coaching uh, coaching is a, is a is your personal uh, personal choice because i have seen the candidate taking the classes and, and did not succeed and also seen the candidate which did not take the classes and succeed yeah, so for those who don't take the coaching classes so please join the study group Uh, Finchu study group is the best I have shown because that uh, because the sir and the tutors here solve the our doubts as we post on one day. If you post the doubt morning at night, you will get the solution and the most important video solution by them. And uh, and their gap mocks also uh, and their mocks also have good review. So one should go with them. So and the coaching is your personal choice. i have taken the classes but uh, it's um, but you your hard work matters so thank you vinit completely agree yeah even we have also uh, many candidates who have taken uh, like uh, coaching from the world class uh, prepared <coughs> providers but still they could yes, not yes main problem it. with the, the main problem with the preparation provider is that they don't solve our doubts Yeah, I have seen many, many. Group. Yes, that's yes. where our study which, group which is. Will be, with yes, which will which will uh, solve by the study groups like Finature, and you can also join the study group of Telegram. Yeah. Thanks, Vinay. Open for questions to audience. Anyone? Uh, I can see a lot of audience. Uh, so, anyone has any?
question is specific to their case so feel free to ask yeah lera to go ahead please i still see your raise hand so it was if that's a new question feel free to ask or if you already uh, asked then it's fine no sir i already asked okay fine fine lera uh anything from uh rest of the audience so i mean fred papi uh, hey vinit uh, i just want to ask you how the question pattern was compared to the mocks was it similar or like how do they uh how do you like how do they ask the questions was it straight away theoretical or was it more of conceptual no uh, around uh, you will find uh, around 3 to 4 questions similar to mocks and uh, rest uh, the exam question was not too hard it was like uh, we need i think we lost you everyone else can hear me like i think it's problem at minute 10 oh yes sir you are audible okay perhaps let's wait for a minute in in meantime just feel free to post question or just ask i'll just collect hello and, i am uh, audible yeah vinit we can hear you now please go ahead yes uh, so regarding the exam question so around 3 to 4 question will you will find from the similar to gap mocks uh, and uh, regarding uh, it's like you have uh, swazer will enough you if you have study swazer 3 to 2 to 3 times then it will you will answer the question and uh, and do not uh, and uh, and uh, do not uh, like uh, read uh, each line from the swazer it is is important because don't uh, make uh, yourself that uh, don't make assumption from your side that this is not important that is not important and if any concept from the swazer can be tested so we need we have uh, yeah so fred just uh, that that <coughs> it answer your question oh yeah almost yeah. and and i i just to add to what we need said i think from earlier conversation i recollect we need said the garp question backs are quite aligned with what exactly was asked so just a like pointer i would highlight there and we need uh, we have one more question from shamin so perhaps see what the only one who was from level 1 so she has question that how machine learning assist in level 1 what is the best way to prepare for machine learning chapter is that correct shamin is that your question i could read but uh, it, it went away sorry but uh, machine learning was added before i have cleared the part 1 so i can't answer this question but uh, it is like uh, i think so it is a theoretical chapter so for this uh, you prepare your own notes and uh, revise those notes only and make your audio notes for this uh, theoretical chapters okay so i would just add be... from my experience and my conversation with faculty so uh, so i mean you can just focus uh on like there are few few uh key topics that i would recollect immediately will be a uh, confusion matrix gini measure and uh like uh, other ones are like uh how do you regularize normalize these are the key topics that we focus on because they, that is that was just introduced last year so it would be just uh, like it just a uh, there are not lot of questions also that are created so the key topics are these confusion matrix kini measure and uh, regularization normalization and spread off between uh, bias and uh, variance spread off so these are the high level uh, last topics that i would think uh, so focus on that yeah anyone you else? can also check Yeah, Fred. If you can add, also yeah. check on the Telegram group uh, of a part one candidates. They have posted from what the, from which area of machine learning they were tested. So you can also check on the Telegram group. Okay, sure. So sure. thanks, Vinit. Uh, so that was a Shamin uh, suggestion from Vinit and Fred. You were saying something. Feel free to add if you want to add. Yeah. Anything. So for my first level on exam uh, from machine learning, I guess I had. Uh, Questions regarding Lasso and Ridge regression. So, I would recommend you to follow the GARP material. Uh, uh, I find it better uh, in in terms of understanding the concept. And uh, if it's for just two chapters, it's okay. It's not uh, too lengthy. Uh, so, and mainly what they ask is they won't ask you right away questions. They will uh, focus more on what were the assumptions behind this theory. Uh, like that, uh, they will be asking the questions. 
uh, right away questions you want you can't expect from garf at least in case of machine learning okay so on lasso uh, and ridge regression also like quite of theory not really the simple formula we have that that's not a part that would be tested is that correct to say virat yeah yeah okay cool thank you anyone else has any question feel free to ask it's a golden opportunity like a person who has actually appeared in a recent exam is your speaker so anything that uh, that is like bothering you you are in your preparation any difficulties you are coming across in your preparation so it it would be a best opportunity to ask otherwise yeah anyways we have group but it's a one on one intersex uh, interaction so uh it's more uh, effective or i would say so feel free to ask if you got anything or like uh, we would just uh, we would be good to wrap up call if you don't have anything to ask um is there a, a telegram group for level 2 yeah yeah we do have as i said we'll share the link with you okay oh thanks most welcome where to fine uh, i think we need we are good to uh, wrap up any any uh, like so i can summarize the important things yeah, is please. that uh, please make a study plan and follow it thoroughly and for gap mock please sit in exam like environment do not uh, take in a part wise like two to two two hours and uh, and uh, you can also take uh, finiture uh, uh, gap mock because they provide uh, i have heard that they provide uh, software like exam like software and uh, for uh, do not leave the operational risk book for the last please do with other books operational risk book and uh, and, uh, and also make your important audio notes because it this will help in your revision because it is difficult for retention in part 2 because uh, as compared to part 1 almost syllabus is double mm. so retention is big issue send and uh, and, uh, and question solving is must for for part 1 for your part 2 question solving is must for do not focus on completing the syllabus uh, and uh, if you are not able to uh, do not, and uh, if you are not able to complete the syllabus my suggestion is do not leave a, a whole book uh, like uh, i have i have seen the people are leaving the current issue book so please don't do this uh, at least do the Uh, climate risk climate risk chapter of uh, current issue book and do not leave the whole book and uh, yes that that's all yeah we need we have one more question from uh, shamin if you would like to take so shamin feel free to ask unmute yourself and please ask i wanted to find out if i get to the group the telegram group uh so i mean your voice is breaking can you be a bit in a uh, connect for level 1 yeah can you bit louder we can hear you now what you were asking so my wifi is connecting um i was asking how do i get okay great how do i get access to the level 1 group uh like you can just go to our website like www.finuture.com over there like you have got all the links oh. of uh, whatsapp group or uh, telegram group and all all other social media that we are present like linkedin etc like on our website home page only if you scroll down you have got every link there so you can just join uh, once you would be asked to provide linkedin profile because we just ensure that we add students and working professionals only in our uh, like community so yeah i mean to just visit our website you should be you should be done and please prepare your formula sheet and uh, revise it before the 10 to 15 days of exam start revising it because uh, 20 formula questions were came if you answer correctly out of 18 so i think around i have checked uh, that uh, for fram part to around 45 to 48 question you have to correctly tick so if you out of 20 you have corrected 18 so for rest 60 you have to correct only 30 in formula based question you can be sure that uh, this i have marked correctly whereas in theoretical you can't be in theoretical question you will be have doubt um, you can eliminate uh, easily two options but for rest of two 
you have to doubt so my suggestion would be while solving the questions uh, if you do not get uh, if you do not get uh, question uh, answer if you do not have hang on the topic please uh, improve your guessing power because in exam you have to guess out of two in around 10 to 15 question so and uh, and uh, please when while solving question please uh, read uh, please understand the reason why other three options are incorrect yeah that's absolutely correct anita yeah, that way like in single question you can cover or uh, like lot of aspects of same uh, concepts so yeah i would completely uh, agree with vinit that exploring wrong options is one of the way to learn and uh, like go beyond your letter lines so yeah anything else vinit would you like to add or like we are good to close yes audio note is important <laughs> that we, that is secret for my success <laughs> so no. i request everyone to please prepare audio notes audio notes yeah thank you so yes. uh, on behalf of finitur education i would like to thank you vinit for sharing your incredible journey and experiences with us so your dedication and hard work are truly inspiring for all of us here so we wish you continued success in all your career and uh, keep striving for excellent and remember the journey is just beginning for you so congratulations once again and thank you very much once again for taking time thank you thank you for inviting me thank you thank you thank you thank you thanks